Bonjour guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to solve this problem, which is an equivalent force system. Now this is a request from you guys in the engineer community. And remember guys, don't forget to comment on which video you would like to see next. But first, let's solve this problem. For those of you guys who don't know me already, my name is Kenza and I've helped so many students pass the FE exam with my online prep courses and free videos. Now, let's take a look at this problem. So we have a crate that has a mass of 550 pounds and we want to find the tension in cable AB. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you guys hints on how to solve this problem and then you're going to pause it and attempt it because a lot of times we think we know how to solve a problem until we try it. And if you make a mistake, it's okay because you're going to learn from your mistake and hopefully you won't make the same mistake in your FE exam or in your statics exam. Okay, so the first thing you guys need to do here is draw the free body diagram and take tension AC and AB and break them into two components X and Y. So that way you can set up your equilibrium equation, okay? Your equilibrium equation, every term has to have the units of force. Now here you were giving mass, okay? So you got to be careful. You can't really use mass in the force equation. So go back to the unit cheat sheets for static that we covered a couple weeks ago and review that. Once you set up your equilibrium equation, next it's pretty easy and you can easily find the tension in cable AB. So with that, why don't you guys give this problem a try and I will see you in a little bit. Before we go over the solution, are you currently studying long hours for your FE exam, but you're not learning a lot, you're always stuck, and you're not progressing? You're also feeling burnout and overwhelmed. And I get it. Studying for the FE exam can be challenging, but what if I told you you can pass your FE exam in a better way? See, as engineer, you study less, you learn more, and you pass the FE faster. Now, how do we do it? Well, I have done the work for you. I give you exactly what you need to pass the FE exam. I cover all the concepts that you should know, and I walk you through how to solve every single problem. Our students study only 15 hours a week, and they pass the FE exam in about three months. And if you enroll today, you can become an EIT in three months. Now, our courses are right now on sale. So head to our website and save up to $200 off. Now, this sale is going to end on November or Tuesday, November 30th. So make sure that you guys enroll before the sale ends. Okay, guys, so this is our free body diagram. Now, the first thing we're going to do is break TAC into X and Y components and do the same thing with TAB. Also, we're going to assume these are going to be our positive direction, okay? Let's first start with TAC. So for the X component, it's going to be TAC, and then we're going to multiply it by 5 because this is the X component, and then divide it by 13. So 13 is actually the hypotenuse of this triangle. Now for Y, it's going to be TAC, and then we're going to multiply it by 12, and then divide it by 13. Now note, guys, that both of these are positive because they're going the same direction as our positive assumption. Now let's take a look at TAB. So for TAB, this component or the X component is going to be minus. It's minus because it's going opposite of our sign convention. So we're going to have minus TAB. And then here we're going to use cosine. So it's cosine, it's because it's the adjacent side. So cosine 35. Now for y component, it's going to be TAB. It's going to be positive because it's the same as our assumption. And then we're going to have sine. So it's sine because it's the opposite side. So it's going to be sine 35 degrees. Now, if you guys are not sure how I got sine, cosine, and 5 over 13 and so on. And if you guys need a little bit of review in terms of trigonometry, go ahead and comment trigonometry below and maybe I'll make a quick video reviewing trigonometry. Now, one thing we haven't discussed on the free body diagram is the weight. So here we're going to have minus the weight. Now it's minus because it's going opposite of our sign convention. Also note guys, in this problem, we were giving the mass of the crate to be 550 pounds but we're going to need the weight for the equilibrium equation. So what we need to do is convert mass to weight. So let's do that together. So if you guys remember from the unit cheat sheets of statics, we said that the weight is equal to mg, but we also said that if we are using 
US units, we gotta make sure that we divide by GC, right? Each time we go from pound mass feet per second squared to pound force, we have to make sure that we use GC so that the units cancel nicely. So let's do that here. So we're gonna have 550 pound. This is technically pound mass because that's the unit of mass. And then we're going to multiply it by G, which is 32.2 feet per second squared. And then we're going to divide it by 32.2 this has the units of pound mass, feet, and then over pound force, second squared. Now let's take a look at the units. So pound mass cancels, feet per second squared cancels, and then we left with per per pound force. Now also note guys that G and GC has the same number, 32.2 and 32.2, and they cancel. And so here what we have is the weight is the same as mass. Now remember, that's only the case when G is equal to 32.2, okay? And if you guys want, you can go back to the unit GGs for statics video and just review that because we did cover this more in depth, okay? So now the weight is just going to be 550 pounds force. Now let's set up our equilibrium equation. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this to help you with your FE preparation or your statics class. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the summation of the forces on the Y equals to zero, and we're going to assume going up to be positive. So the first thing we have is TAC times 12 over 13, and then plus TAB times sine 35 degrees, and then we're gonna have minus the weight, which is 550, equals to zero. Then what we can do is take this 550 to the other side, and what I'm gonna do here is, I'm not gonna rewrite it, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because it's easier for me. Now, note guys here that the 550 becomes positive because here it was negative, we took it to the other side, it became positive. So this is the first equation. Now let's set up our second equation. So we're gonna do the summation of the forces on the x equals to zero, and we're going to assume this direction to be positive. So if we do that, we're gonna have TAC times five over 13. Then we're gonna have minus TAB cosine 35 and then that's it this is equal to zero so we only have two forces in the x direction and this here we're going to call it equation two now note guys here that we have two unknowns tac and tab but we have two equations which means we can easily solve for these unknowns and the way we're going to do it is using our calculators and this could take us literally 30 seconds so if you guys have ti 36x pro you can go ahead and hit second and then tangent and then you're going to see two by two linear equation go ahead and press the first one okay press enter then you're going to see the equation so you have x plus and then space y equal, and then you have the same thing again in the bottom. So before we plug in anything, the first thing we're going to do is set what's x and then what's y. So here we're gonna let x to be TAC, and then we're gonna let y to be TAB, okay? So you gotta be careful when you plug in the calculator, meaning that you, whatever x is, you can't change it. So for, for example, the first equation, you have to make sure that you enter 12 over 13 for x and the second equation if you enter cosine 35 you will get the wrong answer you got to make sure that you stay consistent okay so you gotta have to make sure that you enter 5 over 13. so once you set up what's x and what's y the next step is just entering these numbers so for example the first equation you're gonna have 12 over 13 and then you're gonna keep it plus and then you're gonna have sine 35 times y equals and then 550. Make sure that you guys enter that. Then you're gonna have the second equation, which is going to be five over 13 x, and then don't forget to do minus, okay? So you're gonna have minus here and then cosine 35 y and then equals to zero. Once you do that, then you're gonna hit solve. And then when you hit solve, this is what you guys gonna get. So for TAB, let me just write it down here. You're gonna get 217 pounds. And then for TAC, you're going to get 461 pounds. And if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. Now let's talk about options for future videos. Now if you guys want to see more statics problems, go ahead and comment statics below. And if you guys want to see a video where I review trigonometry, go ahead and comment trigonometry below. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, then you're going to love our courses where I solve so many problems and I cover a lot of concepts 
that will help you pass your FE exam. And if you just started studying for your FE exam and you're just not sure how to start, make sure that you check out this video right here where I dive in and I share the three tips on how to start studying today. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh,